Hi, welcome back to Worms Eye View. I'm going to do a car boot haul for you today. It's only a little one. I can't seem to get the lighting right in here. I think it's because it's so sunny outside and so hot. Um, but this is the lightest part of the house and it's the quietest part of the house. So I did my usual two car boot sales, um, our local village one and then the um, one in a town a few miles up the road. Um, I will start with the bits I got this morning. So there was a whole load of these Usborne spotters guides. Um, there was probably a good 12 or so books. Um, my sister was having a look at them and I was having a look at them and we were trying to decide which ones we would use. So I've picked up the butterflies, the birds, uh, weather, and urban wildlife. So it was 20p a book or a pound for six and we spent one pound 40, no, one pound 30. Um, and obviously that was, half of that was, no, one pound 40, one pound 40 we spent and so that would have been 70p for those books. Um, and then I've picked up this book as well that was my sister's recommendation she's read it and said it was a really good book she really enjoyed it so that is the voluntary madness by nora vincent i have no idea what it's about but um her journey begins in a huge inner city hospital before moving to the calming green carpet of st luke's where patients are offered a room of their own and a regular jog in the park from there she moves to Mobus and a Buddhist inspired brand of healing where she is forced to swim through the west coast psycho babble to some unexpected conclusions. The results is a fearless and unpredictable view of mental health care from the inside out. Um, okay, so she, she spent 18 months disguised as a man. An experience that ended in a locked ward in a psychiatric hospital, she left determined to learn more about the world of psychiatry and to examine whether different mental institutions would offer different solutions to their patients. But rather than researching it as a journalist, she chose to experience it as a patient. Okay, so that does sound really interesting. Um, so I'm going to give that one a go. And then because we are doing our oceans topic at the moment with the children, um, I've picked up this board book, which is called Secret Seahorse. Um, it looks really cute and all the pictures are kind of fabric um, they're all well photos of fabric um, look at that mermaid so that it's all been stitched it's very nice so I picked that up um, to go with our sea life um, theme I've picked up this game which is called the deep sea fun and you have different tweezers and different cards and different coloured balls and then you put the balls on the holes in the pictures um, using the tweezers and I'm always finding fun little games and things for the children to do I use them on my tray activities so I thought that'd be really good and then I wanted some older puzzles for older children or children who are more capable of doing slightly bigger puzzles and I picked up this book for a pound and it's got all sorts of lovely puzzles about sea creatures and then it has information about them at the same time. So that's an information book and a puzzle all at the same time, which kind of is one resource, two resources in one. OK, and then I picked up Bright Stanley. It says far below the waves, a little fish called Stanley lived with his shoal. They were the brightest, sparkliest fish in the whole of the deep, dark sea. One morning, Stanley woke up rather late. Cooey, it's me, he called to his friends, but the reef seemed strangely quiet. Oh no, where have all the other fish gone? So, look, goes for adventures and meets scary things. Um, and that's by Matt Buckingham. So I picked that one up, I thought that'd be a nice story for the little ones. And then I picked up this game. Um, so let me just go through prices in a minute. So I picked up this game. This game was a pound. Um, I'll go into more details about that in a minute. This was 50p. The books were all 20p. 
okay so this is a really fun octopus game we have to the octopus arms go round and then you have to pick up the uh, crabs using the tweezers and if you hit the arms he laughs at you and the game stops so whoop, he's got a wobbly head let me put him on so you push him down he goes around and you have little crabs all around the outside which you obviously put on first let's turn them off a minute so you have all these little crabs sitting in there then you have to try and get them out but obviously the higher ones are much harder so if you hit it he laughs at you so yeah it's some of it's tricky and it's got two levels i think i've seen it on the fastest fastest oh his head's fallen off so that was cute for a pound i thought that was really cute and again it's another fine motor skill god the lighting this is really bad i'm really sorry i keep going in and out of focus okay then we went to the second car boot sale and uh, i picked up this which is an ambulance doors open we have one of these but it's so battered and so the doors i think have been pulled off and it's so dented um, but the kids really like it. So when I saw that and she only wanted 30p for it, I thought I'd get another one of those. And then an octopus, squidgy octopus. He was 20p, so I had him. I'm going in with the others in the water, water tray. This is a really lovely story about weather. It says, one dark and stormy day, a little raindrop fell out of a cloud and flew faster and faster through the sky. New and emerging readers will learn all about the weather cycle in this perfectly created tale by new author Joanne Gray. Illustrated in pastel, blah, 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 children will love to follow the little raindrop's big adventure as he falls from the clouds and gradually wait, makes his way to the sea. Now, I've read this book um, to my nephew and he really enjoys it. And it was such a sweet story. And it tells you the whole, you know, how they go up, um, you know, condensation, uh, not condensation the whole precipitation thing isn't it what oh, my brain is melted it's too hot but you know they evaporate that's what i'm looking for they evaporate up um and you know and then come into the clouds and then come back down again and you know follow the rivers and all the rest it's a really sweet story and then i saw this one this was 20p as well the salem witch society again it's just the light is terrible um, and it says here, Salem, New England, many dark nights ago, the most famous witch hunt in history is about to begin. Years later, a young woman is found savagely murdered, her body arranged in the death pose of a witch. Someone or something is reviving the terror of the notorious Salem witch hunts. And only one man, a brilliant eccentric loner with a dazzling mind and a fascination with witchcraft, can keep the evils of the past at bay. Rich in history, mystery and witchcraft, the Salem Witch Society is a twisting terrifying thriller a dark fairy tale for readers who love discovery of witches and the intrepid in interpretation of murder i haven't read either of those but i thought the story sounded pretty cool um, and that was 20p so i've spent very little money but i've managed to get quite a lot of things so i'm really pleased with that and most of it is for work so it's going to get used cool i hope you're enjoying the sun i hope england do well in the match and uh